In the sport of cross country, the runners of Clarkston High yeah. have a reputation. Ladies and gentlemen, they win trophies. We've had a taste in holding a trophy. The question is, are you willing to find out what it feels like to get there again? This year's team is largely new. They gradually go up. The reputation is misplaced, which is fine when it's only track. Fight hard on three. One, two, three. Fight hard. This year, All right, we got 10 minutes. it's not. Well, our kids are worried about getting into college, but at the same time, they're worried about all the extra things that politics comes into play. Shay, one of y'all be down. Wesley Etienne coaches athletes from nearly a dozen countries in a town represented by more than 40. If we do what we Here need, is how those athletes describe America. Because this is a, the, in America I have a freedom and everybody are welcome. That I have the opportunity to study and do things that not many other people can do. We came to America in 2008, yeah. Why did you move from Thailand? To have a better life. We want to keep them going. Here is how those athletes describe America's president. We were hurting that like he would kick the refugee people out of the country. They're not getting the respect, full respect as they should. Most of my friends also say that Donald Trump is no good because he don't like other, he don't like people's skin color. They normally earn attention for the trophies. But we don't pull up to a meet like any other school does. We first told their story in 2014 when a team in donated shoes won a state title. First place. They have since won again <laughs> and again in 2016, the same year a presidential nominee made statements that felt personal. You see the beautiful shirt that we got made, it says we matter. It goes right in hand with Clarkson United. Everybody was going through it last year and we're still going through it. Between last season and this, the nominee has become president. The safety of our nation, the safety and security of our people. And President Trump has enacted three travel bans on mostly Muslim countries. Ah, no, don't, 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 don't. Stand against policies that tear families apart. The latest two days. Angora. Yeah. Angora. Before this practice. Nine, ten. They haven't had classmates deported, but they've heard of stories. And when you hear about stories, it kind of gets a little bit scary because you might think that you're the next person. Go. From the beginning, Trump's ban has included Somalia, the homeland of Clarkston's sophomore, Abdimalik Hersi. There was a civil war in Somalia. If, if the time I, that I was coming, if he was a president, I wouldn't be in here this time. Do you think about that a lot? Yeah, sometimes. We are protecting them of how to be cautious in America and successful. Does being successful in America require being cautious for these students? When you're a minority, yes. Yeah. They have always been exceptions. Most speak multiple languages, some more than three. Many once saw college as unattainable and now see it within their reach. Five. On this team in this town, diversity is not divisive. Even if they treat me like that, I have to be a friend with them. You know, I have to make them understand. They could teach me how to speak that language, and maybe I would want to go to their country. When I was in Thailand, there's only people that look like me, but right here, I, did, I get to see different kind of people. Runners set! So they run. Looking to live up to one reputation. All the way, Gabo! Get ready to get the hill, man. While hoping to shed another. Color, country, doesn't really matter. If we're the America that's supposed to help everybody be fortunate, we need to continue doing that. For Untold Atlanta, Matt Pearl, 11 Alive News.